Peruvians will vote on Sunday to elect a new president. Polls show the race is extremely tight. One candidate is the conservative Keiko Fujimori, the daughter of jailed former president Alberto Fujimori. Her opponent is Alanta Humala, a former army officer. His 2006 bid was derailed in part because of links to Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. Al Jazeera's Mariana Sanchez caught up with Humala on the campaign trail. Many people fear that you are a very close friend of Hugo Chavez and that you will implement some of the policies from Hugo Chavez here in Peru. The Venezuelan model cannot be applied in Peru. We won't because it's a different reality. We are coming out of a dictatorship and we won't return to an authoritarian government where the executive manages the economic policies. You used to have a much more radical speech in the past. Why did you change? The country's reality was different in 2006. We are more mature, and as the country changes, one has to find solutions in accordance with those changes. You want to renegotiate some contracts, some mining and gas contracts. Do you think that this will veer, will change the direction of the economic growth in the country? Obviously, if we propose to renegotiate a contract, it's not because we just feel like it, but because it is in defense of our national interests. And plus, any of the parties is entitled to propose changes. Many people fear that because you have changed your discourse, you may be a liar. We are building agreements to get a majority in Congress. We couldn't be lying. I will abide by all the commitments I am promising to fulfill. How much has your campaign cost you? Who financed it? And has Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez given you one dollar even for it? <laughs> or Bolivar. <laughs> or Bolivar. <laughs> I guarantee you that not one dollar has come from Hugo Chavez's Venezuela. Those are lies that come from a former U.S. official that gave out that information without proof and only three days before the election. There's a WikiLeaks cable that says that you were not proud of something that you did while you were a commander in an emergency area uh, where the insurgency, the Shining Path, was operating and that you uh, may have committed either killings or torture. Hamas. Hamas. I've always fought with honor, I've participated in combat as a soldier, but have never used practices that are out of keeping with my spirit or outside the mandate of military intelligence. 